we sat down a year ago, um, right after you had sold. Um, how's it been? I mean, we're, we've now, you, you know, you now have a, about a year later, a year under your belt. How's it been? Yeah, almost a year. Uh, you know, look, we have to give these guys so much credit. They have done so much to let us stay Tumblr, keep doing all of the things that make us Tumblr, and uh, support us uh, in being, you know, all of the Tumblr being everything that we, we really can be. They've given us not, you know, not just a tremendous amount of room over the last, it's been, been about 10 months now, they've, they've not just given us a tremendous amount of room, they've also given us a tremendous amount of support to do a lot of the things that we frankly wouldn't have been able to do on our own. You've now worked closely with Marissa for, for almost a year. I mean, how's that been? Marissa's been extraordinary. I mean, Marissa was such a huge part of us and me really getting excited about the prospect of being a part of Yahoo. She is an extraordinary leader, an extraordinary human, a really remarkable engineer and technologist too. Uh, who's had a, an unbelievable set of experiences building stuff like this. So the opportunity to work with her, the more that we got to know her team during the time that we were talking to them about this deal, uh, the more we started to just adore all the folks that she had set up over there, that she was working with over there. Um, it's a remarkable opportunity to get to work with such a world-class team and with a leader like Marissa. So I've been learning a ton. It's been mm -hmm. a real privilege. Looking back at that and that time and when you were signing over the papers, I mean, what is your thought process? I, I mean, you know, what is it what's next? Is there a lot of pressure? I mean, what, what goes through your mind when you think about it? It was mostly just thinking about our new partners. We were going to go into business with a whole new group of people after, you know, very carefully choosing and building our board of investors over the last seven years. I mean, we had built a real uh, family, very close family of partners who were a big, big part of shaping this thing. So it was mostly looking ahead to, you know, who are we going to be working with? Who is this team? Who is Marissa? What's her team like? How do they approach the projects that they work on? All of that stuff. But, you know, the, the significance of like signing the papers, that was never a particularly big moment, frankly, because you know, we've always, we've always had a different mix of partners. The state of the business has always, you know, been fungible, right? It, it could go public one day, it could get acquired one day, it could stay private forever. There are a lot of novel ways to keep a company private for a really long time uh, or to go public while still maintaining a lot of control. There are a lot of ways that a business like Tumblr can exist. For us, it's really always been about the mission. It's been about the community. So that's always been our guiding light. And everything else around it is, you know, the the uh, the levers that we pull and the the way that we set things up so that we can support that mission.